When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day where the current is now flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. Here in the heart of Brazil, Abijania, directly into our open hearts, connecting us, one family across the miles. And we have another gorgeous day here, very fresh in the mornings and cool at night time. And it's overcast, so we are enjoying this nice change of pace. And we are delighted to be held in this wonderful high vibration of Mother Nature. She is so generous, a giver. We have gorgeous flowers everywhere of all colours and fragrances and they're being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and butterflies reminding us of our transformation and that all things pass and all things are impermanent. We are just travellers here on earth. So let us relax wherever we are in the world and dedicate ourselves to this necessary divine work now as we multiply our vibration on the planet. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, this is super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do in the current feet firmly on the ground to ground us, don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous 
high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the center of our being, the heart center, joining us, connecting us across the miles, this flowing current of love and light. Put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed. And we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is very necessary for this current work, the best sight is insight. We leave the material world behind with all of its problems, difficulties, challenges. And we open our spiritual eyes, but we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We're reminded again and again that we're not the body. We're much more than we think. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. All of these amazing entities of light and love from all backgrounds, colours, classes, down through the ages, many, many lifetimes. Just like us, they had bodies too, once or twice, so they know all about the human condition. They know all about us and they see our suffering. And they know exactly what we need as we reach out to them now and ask them with a contrite heart to help us in this struggle on earth. And today we embrace peace. Peace is the hope of every nation, the promise of every politician, the pulse of every religious tradition. The goal of every prayer. Peace is the bold, courageous and ultimate response to the notion that violence provides any viable solution for the conflicts of our world. Peace begins within us. We always seem to forget that inner peace is a choice. And many of our habits determine how much peace we experience in our daily lives. When we consciously choose the path of peace, we find it deep inside ourselves and we can multiply this peace on earth. We need to focus our attention on those things that we can control and surrender to those that we can't. Remember that you are worthy and you deserve all the happiness possible. Let us practice recalling all our good happenings, the victorious moments, the successful times, our favourite memories and affirm them to ourselves. This will help us to avoid self-criticism and we will stop doubting ourselves. We need to keep in mind to appreciate ourselves in every way possible. Just do the best we can as we journey through this challenging time now on earth. We also need to wake up and to listen to ourselves. Avoid doing things without our will. Listen to our own heart and do what we enjoy, or something that provides calmness to our hearts. It is time now more than ever to be true to ourselves. Take a permanent break from faking ourselves just for the sake of other people's acceptance. This is what we need to do to bring peace into our lives. We need to remember what other people think of us is none of our business. Distancing toxic people from yourself will help you to stay peaceful. Don't let others' behaviours bother you. Distancing people who are very toxic is important in order to maintain our inner peace. Pray for them and let them go out of your life. And something as simple as spending time in nature 
We will find peace by just sitting for a while amongst the birds, the bees and the butterflies. Let them teach you. Flowers are not in competition with each other. They just bloom and they share their fragrance with everyone. Something as simple as minding what you eat and exercising can bring a whole dimension of peace into our energy fields. Mindfulness multiplies our peace. Do good deeds. Lead by example. And if you're going to be anything, be kind. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's the simple things in life that really multiply our peace. As we consciously walk upon the earth and realize its beauty every day of our lives. And this coming together every day when we can, multiplying our peace in our hearts, peace on planet earth. We are reminded that meditation or going on the inner journey is calming. It maintains our mental health. And this work of the current has the energy to keep us calm and to lead a peaceful life. So as we join together and pray for peace, to multiply it within us, And then we can go out and bring peace into this very challenged world right now. We turn to our brother Jesus, the Prince of Peace. As the Casa de Dominacio helps to multiply the Christ consciousness on earth. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Forgive everyone everything. And Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness. May Christ return to earth and be born in the hearts of every being. So we can multiply peace on earth. And today we bring you the Lord's Prayer from our lovely sister, Sunflower, daughter of the Casa, in her native Mandarin, reminding us that God speaks vibration. Woman 阿们 And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, who has come back here to Earth many, many times through the ages, appearing to very humble brothers and sisters, always with the message of peace, to pray for peace, to multiply 
peace. And we ask our Divine Mother in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times on earth, reminding us that if we cannot find peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. As we work our way out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Amen.
the universe is unfolding exactly as it needs to. And this explosion of consciousness on the planet is necessary to wake us up, to get our lives in perspective, to evolve, to grow along the path. And we are experiencing growing pains, if you like. We are challenged, our buttons are pushed, and we're taken way out of our comfort zone. But it is all part of the divine plan. There's a bigger picture. We are enrolled in the school of life and we're learning the art of living and dying well and bringing this learning and teaching into every aspect of our daily lives, mind, body and spirit. Everything is a test. And at the end of the day, it is between you and God. And we are encouraged to do the right thing. This grasping for power and greed and fighting and violence and all the heaviness in the world, the multiplication of fear is disturbing our peace. And we are forgetting that in each and every moment, we have a choice. It's only a choice between love and fear. And fear is the thief of our peace. So let's consciously choose love wherever we can. And ask God and these amazing entities, these messengers of love, to help us on the path as we navigate these challenges every day and just take one moment at a time and walk the path of the light knowing that we're greatly loved we haven't been abandoned and we're supported protected and been held by the god consciousness each and every one of us are children of God. On this day, right here, right now, mend a quarrel. Search out a forgotten friend. Dismiss suspicion and replace it with trust. Write a love letter. Share some treasures. Give a soft answer. Encourage youth. Manifest your loyalty in a word or a deed. Keep a promise. Find the time. Let go of a grudge. Forgive an enemy. Listen. Apologize if you were wrong. Try to understand. Flout envy. Examine your demands on others. Think first of someone else. Appreciate, be kind, be gentle. Laugh a little more. Deserve confidence. 
take up arms against malice. Decry complacency. Express your gratitude. Worship your God. Gladden the heart of a child. Take pleasure in the beauty and wonder of the earth. Speak your love. Speak it again. Speak it still again. Speak it still once again. Amen.
in turn multiplies the vibration of the entire planet. Something as simple as a smile can change our lives. And we are called right now on Earth to be the change we need to see in the world to change ourselves and then we can go out and change the world. All that matters at the end of our earthly lives is how much did we love? How much did we let go? Surrender.
we need more than ever now to help each other to realize we are all brothers and sisters in the light children of God all part of the same shining web the God consciousness all there is sacred trinity of innumerable names and we have come back here on earth to multiply our love light to walk each other home and when we see a wrong to do something about it to bring peace into our hearts and peace on earth not only for us but for future generations to come This is our mission. And when we choose love in each and every moment, we are fulfilling our mission. We are letting go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. We are growing up into the light beings that we truly are. And we rise by lifting others. So let's empower ourselves and start with a smile. Raising the vibration of the planet into the heavenly realms. Bringing heaven to earth, so needed now in these challenging times. This is our mission. As we take courage, take heart, and be the change we need to see in the world. One smile at a time. We pray for the power to be gentle, the strength to be forgiving, the patience to be understanding, and the endurance to accept the consequences of holding on to what we believe to be right. May we put our trust in the power of good to overcome evil and the power of love to overcome hatred. We pray for the vision to see and the faith to believe in a world emancipated from violence. A new world where fear shall no longer lead men or women to commit injustice. Nor selfishness make them bring suffering to others. Help us to devote our whole life and thought and energy to the task of making peace. Praying always for the inspiration and the power to fulfill the destiny for which we and all men and women were created. To bring the peace of God right here, right now, onto Mother Earth and awaken everyone to our very essence as children of God. Amen.
smiling happily, bringing more peace into our energy fields. Relaxing into our physical bodies now. Our hard work is over. We're open to receive. As you give, so it will be given you. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, peace, joy, love, forgiveness, gratitude, humility, trust, faith, awareness, respect, thankfulness, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, anger, rage, anything, everything that no longer serves us, that is stopping us from stepping into our power, our love light. Transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, unburdened, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualise a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth. To let go of anything, everything that's blocking us, stopping us from becoming more, liberating ourselves into our very essence. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. The transmutation of anything and everything that's blocking us, that doesn't serve us. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, angry, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. We're all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, fire, heat in America, Canada, floods, famine, drought, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes. God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium Joao into this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems at the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed and at peace, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing. Let's share a bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love light to go around. Bringing this miraculous high vibration out to all hospitals. Helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients and anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these challenging times on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, rehabilitation centres, anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, disharmony, conflict, bringing the peace of God, not only for us, but for future generations to come our children and their children, and on and on. St. Rita's always with us. To God, all things are possible. 
this unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence, to make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth is bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God's great miracles abound. Right here, right now. This almighty, all compassionate, all loving, all forgiving, majestic, High vibration, enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart have the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnate and disincarnate. All of God's creatures, great and small, as it pours forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies. All of God's creatures in all universes be healthy, happy, joyful, kind, generous, humble, loving, forgiving, trusting, faithful, grateful, prayerful, respect everything, mindful, Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
smiling happily, multiplying our peace of mind and this peace pouring from our open hearts, raising the vibration of the entire planet together, one heart. As we bask in this joyful, peaceful, holy, high vibration we're all receiving now from on high into our open hearts. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, one collective consciousness, one family, brothers and sisters in the light. As we take this leap of faith together, knowing that there is a bigger picture and that we need to be the change we need to see in the world take heart take courage we are all greatly loved and supported by God children of the divine as we shift dimensions realizing that painful endings are bright new beginnings And thank you, God, for sending your infinite messengers of love. Angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits. And these phenomenal entities of light and love. They too had bodies once or twice down through the ages, just like us. They know all about the human condition. They know all about us. They see our suffering and they know exactly what we need as we reach out to them and ask for a contrite heart. For peace. So that we can move forward upwards, onwards, happily doing the work of the divine, our mission on earth. And thank you always for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, the entire Christ consciousness, which is all about love and forgiveness and peace. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears helping us to realize that life is so short, the blink of an eye, and that there's lessons to be learned down here, and they're not easy right now. And we haven't been abandoned. We have so much help available to us. It's not an easy journey. And when our earthly life is over, we will be liberated into their open arms with all of these holy beings in the celestial fields where there's no more suffering and no more pain. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, For time and time again coming together and doing this necessary divine work. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. For your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk the path of the light. Stay firm. Centered in the heart for your faith, your hope, your patience, your humility, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, written on the walls of the entity's room in English and in Portuguese as a reminder, love and service. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight. Faith moves mountains 
And your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, your extended family, all of those around you, and Mother Earth. And your love light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever. For the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. Let go. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the warriors of the light. The soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We rise by lifting others. United we stand as we walk each other home. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers are being answered always and in always as we surrender to the will of God Almighty. Thy will be done, not my will. May the peace of God be upon Mother Earth. Dear God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Taking, as our brother Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next life. May peace prevail in all hearts. May peace prevail on Mother Earth. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.